Polygamy is a controversial part of the Mormon Church's history. Now the Church of Latter-day Saints has shocked many by releasing a bombshell about its founder, Joseph Smith. The church acknowledging that Smith took as many as 40 wives, some of whom were already married, and one was as young as 14 years old. So why is the Mormon Church coming forward with this information? Mm, let's get an answer. We have Michael Peppard with us, a professor of theology at Fordham University. Professor, always good to have you here. So you. what's going on with this? Obviously, we have to believe it's true because if they're saying it, you know, why would they lie? But what does it mean? Right. Well, I think what's new here, first of all, is that this is an official admission on LDS.org, on the official website of the Mormon Church. And as you said, we have uh, a surprising uh, extent of the number of wives, up to 40. We also have an admission about uh, the toilet took on Emma Smith, his first wife. And I think that might be actually the most interesting piece of the admission, uh, because Emma Smith then went on to not be a member of the LDS Church and to be a part of a different branch of early Mormonism that was against polygamy. Uh, so there is an admission of the historical reality of some troubles uh, between Joseph and Emma. And they were supposed to have this blissful union, right? Wasn't that the story was that he that they were monogamous. He was always right. monogamous. People held him up as a pillar of the community and monogamy. And the fact that he had alienated and hurt his wife right. so much by doing this, that is a bombshell. Uh, it is. It calls it an excruciating ordeal uh, in the document for Emma. And when we contrast this with the way Joseph and Emma Smith are presented, uh, for example, in Temple Square in Salt Lake City, uh, there's a, a statue of them holding hands looking like the image of a uh, marital monogamous union. And so I think for uh, Mormons in the pews, it's been a challenge to the kind of understanding they Why'd had they growing lie? up. Why'd they create the other story? Uh, well, it had I, to be. It's not like right. this is from eras ago. This was going to be discovered if people wanted to look in the right places. They just uh, hadn't decided to yet, I guess. So one thing I would say is that early Mormon history is uh, quite fuzzy. From the period of 1831 until the arrival in Utah, there's a period of a number of years where there is not a whole lot of material record outside of the papers of Joseph Smith. Now, the LDS Church has a website called Joseph Smith Papers, and they're starting to unveil and be more transparent uh, both in print and online about his personal effects and his writings. We have an excerpt from the report that they've put out on their website about this uh, bombshell. I'll read it. After receiving a revelation commanding him to practice plural marriage, Joseph Smith married multiple wives and introduced the practice to close associates. This principle was among the most challenging aspects of the restoration for Joseph personally and for other church members. Plural marriage tested faith and provoked controversy and opposition. Mm -hmm. So why did he do it? Uh, well, he certainly uh, believed that he was receiving special revelations from God, which were going to overwhelm both civil law on the Testament, uh, Old Testament, uh, stories about the biblical patriarchs uh, from the Hebrew scriptures that revealed their plural marriages and believed that God was revealing this to him. Now, the article also says that he was visited uh, three times uh, by an angel, the third of which uh, threatened him with a sword if he did not uh, consent to this revelation of plural marriage as restored by God in this day. Well, it's certainly not an uncommon practice through the ages, although to some it will smack a little bit of the doth protest too much against uh, something he obviously indulged in very heavily. Yeah. But it's good to know the truth. Thank you very much, Professor Peppard. Good Thank to you have you here, much. as always. Glad to be here. Thanks for being here. All right. So